CNBC TV 18 Weekender. Welcome back. You're watching CNBC TV 18 Weekender, and we're here at the High Design Factory in Puducherry in conversation with its founder and president, Dilip Kapoor. Dilip, I'm not sure many people again know this, but your factory is very different from the others, and we were referring to this only a little while ago in our conversation. It's got this eco-friendly, earthy feel to it. But we'll come to that in just a bit. Just tell me, how many products of yours roll out of these lines? I call them lines because <laughs> that's the common parlance, although these are far from no line. actual lines. Exactly. But how many products do you put out of here, let's say, on an annual basis? Well, uh, on an annual basis, you would have around, 200, around 250,000 to 260,000 bags and an equivalent number of smalls. Mm -hmm. Alright, that's, that's a pretty large number considering again, it's a go slow process that you, uh, that yeah. you adopt, right? Yeah. Also then moving forward in terms of the kind of work you do here, you say 250 bags right about now, uh, a similar number of other accessories as well, if you could just give me some... some that's right, around, it's around the same, a little bit more, a little, uh, maybe around almost 300,000 wallets and smalls. Considering this continues to be the core of the business that you do here, and considering you've already announced this interesting expansion plan, stretching across 10 to 12 countries, are you in a position to enhance the production that happens here going forward? And by what percentage will that expansion in terms of actual production here be? I think there's a constant expansion that happens. Uh, we've always been expanding. Uh, we're used to the idea that you, your production itself, in terms of product, has to expand by at least 10% a year, sometimes 20%. Uh, there's certain value addition that happens. For example, we start creating atelier collection, icon collections. So there's been a slow moving up also. But in terms of just units itself, yes, there is a constant expansion of about 10%. Every All right. Year. So there's a constant new trainees, new training, new people. You know, that continues always. So how many more bags, how many more wallets can we maybe see in the next two, three years? Then give us, give us an estimate of well, where that number will go up from. I think, uh, I think you should see in terms of products itself, you should see in the next two to three years around a 30% increase. You are looking to expand internationally and I completely understand considering there are new markets waiting to be tapped. But, you know, would you not perhaps also be better off playing to your strengths, which is of course the Indian market, with contributing 70% to your revenues? Why not? Um, I think we continue the expansion here, but we, there are two advantages to being international. One is you learn a lot. You know, when you're all over the world, you learn a lot about culture. And we've always been a global looking brand. Okay. We've never been an insular brand looking only towards the Indian market. So when we reached the 70%, it almost threw a spanner in our plans. We're saying, hey, we've got a 70%. We don't want it to become 90% you know, in India. We want to continue to learn from the international market. So I think it's time we went abroad, got back to our roots. We were very strong internationally. Yeah. So we want, to, you know, we want to continue to be a global brand, not just an Indian brand. That was number one. Number two, where are the new malls coming? We are not a high street mall, we are a high street brand. We don't do well in high streets. We need a nice, clean environment. And there's not many malls coming. Wherever there is a good mall coming, we're there. But there's just not many malls. So let's say, considering this all goes according to plan, and in a couple of years' time when this expansion will, of course, somewhat seemingly take place, uh, will that 70-30 ratio perhaps be um, tinkered around a little bit? Where do you see that contribution changing? We'd be very happy to see a 60-40. So 60-40, 60, 60, 40, 60 from the domestic market and 40 from... We Asia. would always say, we always want to have a strength in India now. Uh, we'll always be majority India, but we would love to see more and more international uh, so that it seeds back into our Indian market also. Interesting things come back into India. All right, there you have it then. So a very clear strategy in the e-commerce front, no discounts, even as the company is drawing up a very impressive design in terms of actually expanding into overseas geographies are concerned. We have to slip into a very short break, but when we're back, we'll talk about how Dilip Kapoor spends his weekends right here in the city of Pondicherry. Keep staying tuned to CNBC TV 18 Weekender. CNBC TV 18 Weekender.